Well, that was the Russian Federation anthem as uh, they honor the 12 nations that qualify to partake in this year's World Championship. Feature teams in our draw 10. Latvia at 1-5, taking on China at 3-2. I'm Luke Coley here with Anne Swisshelm as we get set for an all-important 10th draw, trying to moving day, as many say, on this Tuesday as we look at the teams. The lead, Jacqueline Litanicha. The second, Aluta Linde. The third, Dacha Regia. And their skip, Avita Regia. They will take on Team China with their lead, Ray Wang. Second, Jinli Liu. Their third player is Yilun Yang. And the skip of this Chinese team from Harbin, China, Sedia Lui. They will do battle on Sheet C here this afternoon. So we'll set the stage for you for this 10th draw. The afternoon of three games. We look, Switzerland the top, still undefeated, 5-0. Canada and Sweden both with five wins, right behind Korea, Russia, 4-2, then U.S. at 3-2. They have a big day today, tied with China, who is at 3-2. and two. Then Scotland and Germany, four losses. Denmark, Latvia with five, one and five. And Czech Republic still looking for that elusive first victory. Here's the other games going on in this draw. Switzerland, 5-0, and oh, takes on Korea over on Sheet A. Sheet B, Sweden at 5-1, and one, takes on Germany. We are on Sheet C with our feature matchup. And Russia taking on the USA on Sheet D. And this Chinese team has got rolling a little bit more confidence. Three straight wins now. Yeah, from the first game we saw them, they were a little shaky. That first game at a world championship in this new look Chinese team. Uh, missing the very familiar Binyu Betty Wang at skip. Um, but Sedia Lui has settled in nicely and is throwing a beautiful rock, calling a great game, leading this young team to three victories in a row. Very impressive victories. And uh, they have won the draw for Hammer. They were closest to the center of the scoring area and will keep the Hammer for this first end. Latvia is looking to get back to their winning ways. They opened with a nice win over Scotland uh, early in the week and uh, have dropped several games since. So Latvia throwing the Red Rocks today, looking forward to... Uh, hopefully getting their second victory here in St. John. Yeah, not bad first world championship for La Regia, and they end up getting a win in their first game. Of course, as you said, against Scotland. Now here against China, and let's see if they start Perstonian is uh, been a common trend. Yeah, we've seen that quite a bit. Everybody uh, being very conservative in the first end. Jacqueline Litanuche. 80% on the event. Middle of the pack for the leads, goes back four foot. No surprise seeing this uh, from most, most teams in the field. Yeah, and uh, here's Ray Wang, 19 years of age, playing a really nice first world championships. Simple hit and roll. They're gonna try and move the shooter to the side of the rings. Looks like they're gonna get a nose hit. Stay right there in the four foot. So a long look down the sheet. Jacqueline Luetoneche, if my uh, Latvian pronunciation <laughs> is any good. Been working on it. Yes, I've been practicing, so I'll keep, keep trying here. Uh, she's going to play a nice takeout. She's going to hit right and stay right there. Nice simple shots to get yourself comfortable, settled into your slide. Settled into your team communication. This Latvian team is an older team. You look, uh, Jacqueline is 45. Okay. All, they have the oldest player in uh, their third. Dacha Reja is 51. Actually, is the mother to the skip. We'll yeah, and the that and wife of the coach. 
All in the family there is well, an early miss on that one. Ray Wang will have an over curl. Miss it completely. She's played three positions so far this event. The third the first game, then moved to second, and now has been a consistent lead the last few games. Yeah, I think this lineup is a, is a nice is a nice order for Team China. Um, their third was missing early in the week, and uh, once she arrived, it gave them quite a bit of confidence and changed the the momentum for the positive. Um, that I would say that's an uncharacteristic miss. Um, this sheet, which uh, I'm, we've become familiar with, curls quite hard um, into that one corner, and uh, I think. Team China might have gotten a little bit bit by Fresh Pebble and uh, the sharp curl on that shot. Well, the guard over curls leaves that one open. Get a look at that nice 10 o'clock position on the handle. She's going to just release at 12. Jin Li Lui. The right on those lies one. Yeah, they look like a little adjustment in uh, not only where Sedia Louis from China put down the broom, but also asked for a little bit more weight and it ran a little straighter on him. Aluta Linde. Forty-two year old second lives in Riga. Riga, Latvia, the home of the only curling club in Latvia. Beautiful two-sheet club. So the guard out in front, and we look at the rules of play. Six ends minimum, 73 minutes on the time clocks for each of the teams, and one coach interaction. They'll come down, the clock will continue to run. We'll call it a timeout, but the time doesn't go out. Yeah, the time is uh, does not stop significantly. Uh, the coach is allowed to talk for one minute with his team while their clock runs, and then he's asked or she's asked to uh, to leave. Well, trying to use that guard. We've seen this from China. They start playing the hits, then one mistake, they use a guard. And this one will not get there. Sits on the hood and the grill of that Fusion Hybrid. Yes, it does. Uh, so it's a fifth wheel there. Um, hood ornament. Yeah, it's a hood ornament. So that uh, yeah. Dace Reja is going to try and take advantage of that uh, miss by China and put a rock in the rings. Use those rocks for cover. This rock's trying to go. Great weight. I think China can see about half that shot. There we get a good look at uh, what the shooter might see from the hack or the starting position in curling. Yi Lun Yang from China, throwing her first rock here in this 10th draw of the World Championships. Well, able to get to it, a little roll away from the center line, lying one, your first end to play. This is draw 10. Of 17 round robin draws. And a nice smile from the third for China. Um, it's good to see. So, uh, with that shot outside, uh, rolling to the outside, Latvia is going to hit that and stay back there. And that'll give China a chance if they want to generate, uh, try and generate two points here with their hammer. They can uh, draw under that cover. They're just going to keep it simple. Might see if they were trying to score points later in the game. First end, you see a little more of a cautious approach. Yeah. I think they want to stay right there, hit right on the nose, stay right there. Okay. 
The reason why they didn't want to roll undercover, Luke, is that that rock would sit behind the tee line and uh, give something that uh, the Latvian team could freeze on, draw down, stay above. Might be forced to take one if that was the case. Yep. Interesting to see uh, the Latvian Curling Association. It's uh, a newer country to the World Curling Federation. It became a member in 2001. They, of course, hosted last year in Riga. No, Vince. And the game just growing. Not a lot of uh, curlers in Latvia. But continuing to grow and yep. hit and roll out. Now opens up a window. Do you see China go after this? Yeah, for sure that uh, China's going to take this opportunity to draw underneath that cover in front of the rings. Um, it gives Sedia Louis and her team a great chance at scoring two points with the hammer here. So just taking a, a small bit uh, more ice there after she got to the hack. Twenty-five-year-old Skip from Harbin, China. Full-time curler enjoys singing and swimming. Let's hope it's not at the same time. I don't know how that would work out. I'm trying to have this one right underneath those guards. Yeah, she took that little extra bit of ice. Just a little bit deep, and there's an opening now. Yep, and uh, it's nice to see that the Latvian skip does not hesitate to take advantage of that uh, opening. And uh, she can freeze right down on it. She can even tap it a smidge as long as she stays right on top. And this, is, this gives Latvia a great chance to steal a point in this opening end. Vita Reja, in turn draw. Put this one right on the face of it. We'll get an early look at the hog to hog time. It's been seeing early in games uh, over 15 seconds. Yeah, the ice is really quick, this championship ice. Just beautiful, and it looks like this has got to slow down. Let's see, 14 2 hog to hog. It's trying, it's trying. Well, just a little chip rolls off, and his second shot, so an opportunity. Two options, you can play the draw, you, you come down to it, play a little tap, or play the hit. And what do you like to see here? You know, this is one of those shots that I would absolutely leave up to my skip 100%. I personally like to see that Sedia Louis is going to throw the draw. She just threw it. They know the path. They know the speed of the ice. The sweepers are familiar with what it should look like. And as I say that, they switch. <laughs> it's what she's comfortable with. It really is. Their lying shot right now needs the hit and stick. Score a two with the hammer. And she may be thinking that this is just an easier way. Uh, you don't need to up the level of difficulty on your own shots. So just clean, sweeping a little bit here at the end, guiding the shot in. Just that quiet wait right on the beak. And there it is, two for China. Great start for them as they continue to try and win games, looking for their fourth in a row. Draw 10 from St. John, New Brunswick, Canada.
Well, as we're through one end, we'll take a look what's going on. Sweden and Germany. This right next door on sheet B. Sweden, without the hammer, has the red stones. And Immigen Una Lehmann got her first win yesterday, looking to get a second, trying to knock off one of the front runners right now. Germany wearing the traditional white with the red, black, and yellow on the shoulders, drawing to get a single point. Biter in the back, that one top 12 foot. Must be a load uh, off the shoulders for uh, Immigen after getting that first win. It had been so long uh, losing those first few games. Finally gets that win. They're up one nothing right now. Yeah, and I think uh, they're going to have to play uh, some of their best curling to, uh, to challenge the powerhouse that is Team Sweden coming into this event. Um, and it's great, I think, for them to get on the board first in that first end. Uh, I think that's uh, going to make a huge difference for them. So back in our feature sheet, Team China scored two with the hammer in the first end. They go first here in the second end. Lead Ray Wang. Coming up to help sweep her own stone. This is a oh. uniquely Chinese four sweepers on a single rock. You don't see that very often? No, um, not as many teams will do that. It's something they're very uh, passionate to want to get that stone in the right spot. And they'll no problem getting up and sweeping it. Yep, it's a it's very normal choice for uh, their team and very practiced. Their brooms don't clink together. They're very practiced. They... Um, well, Sevilla Louis has taken part in the World Mixed Doubles before, too, where you do sweep your own. Lost a quarterfinal in 2012 to the USA. So the center line guard goes out and a little tap on the guard on the come around attempt. So yeah, I think uh, the Latvian team was just a little bit light on that shot. It started to curl quite early. Uh, they were looking for a rock to come into the top four foot. Um, and now China's going to get the opportunity to do that. So this side of the ice is a little bit slower. And that's because it curls a little bit more. So it's just that the sheet seems a little longer. So this one's curling really hard. Well, just not giving himself enough ice to get around those. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a combination of not only ice, but uh, weight as well. So first three stones all out in front. Good chance here. Try and go top four foot. Sweepers right off on this one. Allowing it to curl, allowing it to come down in speed. Nice wait there for Jacqueline with down Nietzsche. Oh, I think I, I think I messed that one up that time, but it's close, I think. Yep. I'm gonna keep talking to her, keep working on my pronunciation there. Jin Li Liu, try and play this little flop. They lost their first two games, lost a tough one against Switzerland. One they probably. Could have won, should have won, and now won three straight. And true uh, test of, a, of the character of Sedia Louis to bounce back, has won three straight. Didn't let that one shot impact her. When, uh, chance for four, missed the shot, give up a steal of two. Three straight wins, including their rival Koreans. Yeah, they've been, uh, as I said, they've, they've really settled in nicely. They look very confident and comfortable out there in this environment. Um, and it is a very unique environment to play in a world championships. The ice is unlike anything you, you'll see anywhere else. Uh, the arena is big. Very nice little hit and roll. 
Munde able to get the little flop in behind. That's just a great shot. And uh, she sits on top of the forefoot. That's a, a tough spot. Here's a look, just the quiet wait. Sweepers are ready, know they need to sweep it a little bit, get it in behind. And, and it's uh, buried beneath staggered guards that you can't run. And uh, as much as China likes those center line guards when they don't have to hammer here, uh, they realize that that stone on the forefoot is going to be hard to beat. And even if they freeze to it, that still leaves the whole forefoot for a second point. It's a really well-placed stone. Well, Yi Lun Yang was about to head down, and they say, nope, come on back. We're, uh, we've made our decision what we're doing. Yep, they're I thought it would be a point the... where they try and open the front up. They will try and close that scoring zone. So they're looking to draw this stone right around, right into the forefoot. It's a nice shot. It's got uh, a little bit overburied, so edge to edge at best visible to the shooter. So they're going to play about back line to hack weight. Is this one you want to make sure you play tight and you'd rather touch the guard and hit it a hair, hot, hair wide and lose your own? Yeah, uh, I mean, if you hit this wide and bury it underneath all of that cover, uh, that's uh, that'd be a tough, tough break. Well, that body close. language didn't seem happy right away, but trying to make that move, got to get to the inside. It's close. Well, remove it. Just, just. get away with it. Move it far enough to lie too. Able to do just that. So 1-2 now for Latvia. Not the inside, but they get away with it. Yeah, she doesn't look 100% pleased, but that's a, that's a really good option for them. Uh, so Yi Lun Yang will be playing, I think, a double here. This is a pretty steep double. Well, got to catch this one thin with the first. Maybe well, just hit. knows it. Mm. So it's second and third. Well, trying to score two. Saw the indication, the hit and roll. On the wide side is... We got to look at the sweepers here for Team China. Just a nose hit. Here, looking for the inside. You don't want to nose it and leave another chance at a double. And you're not second shot by playing that. Thought they could have ignored it because yeah. it was to the side of the rings. So this is an interesting option here. Um, Sejia Louis uh, from China is trying to figure out if she should draw in she's second shot in the back there and uh she is very much like a veteran skip ignoring her opposition's rocks and uh so they're just waiting for it to curl you gotta get past that wait looks close and they're going to be shot stone here. Wow, that one really moved just past that stone top 12 foot. They almost had a little rub on it. Worked out that they didn't.
Well, they were off this most of the way. The sweepers wanted to go on it, but they couldn't afford to with the weight it had and the curl it needed to do. That curled a good two and a half feet left to right after the hog line. That's fun ice. That's just fun ice to play on. You can make a lot of shots with ice moving like that. Now the peel of that top one, I don't know if they were a run back trying to run that one off the red, just to open things up a bit. Yeah, I think just create a little bit of uh, action and some separation on those rocks out in front of the rings. Um, I actually think they should have drawn in there, set right on top, and Ooh, then they could tap. have used their own to, to hammer in there. Um, Husband and coach of a third player, Dacia Regia, Francis Regia. Father of Skip Eveta Regia. It's a family affair. I believe he also runs the curling club in Riga, Latvia. Well, with the small numbers for curling, it would make sense. They're heavily involved within the curling community in Riga. Yeah, small numbers, but really impressive curling population to host a world championships uh, uh, as, such a, as such a young curling country last year, a very successful world championships. And uh, to have team uh, Latvia here at the Worlds. Well, they go top 12 foot. And a look at uh, coach and fifth player, Shotang. Shea. Shea is the fifth player, and Tan Wei Dong, the coach. He's been helping us with the uh, Chinese pronunciation. Yes, so if, uh, if there's uh, any input on that, uh, see uh, Tan Wei Dong, coach of Team China. So this is, a, this is a really big shot here in this game. I think this is a pivotal shot for the Latvian team. Uh, it's one of those moments uh, that they do have an opportunity um, to, uh, to sit shot one and two under cover and uh, and to tie this game up. I know there's a couple rocks left to play, but this is the opportunity to get at that Chinese stone on the button. Yeah, if it overcurls a little bit and rolls away, they may not have another opportunity at this. Shot stone on the button for China. First of skip stones, and that's where those stones sit behind cover. While waiting to make that move, nice. angle it, and they left it a little too long. Had to hold that one out there to get that stone on the button. Yeah, that was really well thrown. Um, I love the weight choice. She didn't bang at it. It was just Whoa. nice controlled weight. You see the, the hand movements with noise in the crowd. Obviously something they're still getting used to, but yeah, they could have got on that a little bit. They're worried about it letting it curl early and it curled too much. So they couldn't do anything with. Yeah, that's one of those. We saw that, that real hard movement uh, after the hog line. It just curls, it finishes really, really sharply. And uh, they needed to anticipate that. Now with that shot being so close, Skip from China realizes that that's a danger rock there for her. So she's going to try and get rid of it. Well, try and make the little hit, roll in, help protect it, and overlap. Not a lot. Now what is left with that little roll overlapping 
for Sedia Louis. I think yeah. if they get a little bit closer together, those two. I think that there's a drag effect there that might pick uh, a rock off the, f off the button. Um, it's a dangerous shot. Uh, but this... Uh, Hit where you can see that top yellow? Yeah, and it may drag it right back and pick the yellow stone off the button. What do you think, Luke? I think it's close. I don't know if they can see enough of what you need to hit. They would, obviously, with the angle you saw, they are touching, so frozen together. Yeah. I don't so think they, they would really move looked at it. Almost as one. They did not look at it. It's a, it's a bit of a dangerous shot. But this shot uh, that they're calling here. On the straight side, it's a little bit straighter on this side of the ice as opposed to the other. Yeah, I'm not sure that this shot's here, uh, with the weight required to move the rock. The yellow rock off the button. We will find out here, Avita Reja. The final stone of this second end, trailing 2 nothing. Oh, got to play this one real tight to the guard. Got to get by the front. Get by. And oh. they won't. They'll touch that yellow slide by. So close. Get by. They have a chance, but... We'll never know if it was quite there as it's a steal for China and an early 3 nothing lead here against Latvia. I highly anticipate this. Well, let's take a look over on sheet A, Switzerland and Korea. That red one just on the back side, belonging to Switzerland, but I don't think they have a chance to bring it in if it's a possibility or not. Those two yellows belong to the Korean side. Vinya Felcher, the lone unbeaten team, trying to move to 6-0 and with a win here this afternoon. On a, against a surging Korea team here after a, a big win earlier this morning. I'm just playing the intern draw. Need to get this one to the forefoot. No real panic at all. and It'll come down to the button. So Switzerland gets their one. One nothing after a blank first. So they're through two on sheet eight. High fives and smiles. Well, it's been going their way. Obviously, sitting with a 5 0 record. In our game, 3 0. China leading Latvia. Started the third end, and I will quote the great Anne Swisshelm when you're up, you go in. When you're up, go in. When you're down, you're out. This is. Uh, we are learning a lot, folks. <laughs> little, little truths about, uh, about managing the scoreboard. Well, we've seen in China's games, we've seen a few of them where they've got up and they sort of faltered a little bit in the middle and then able to hang on in a couple games. So see if yeah. they put that foot on the gas pedal a little more and try and just keep it going throughout the entire game. Yeah, they need to keep their execution sharp in those middle ends. They, those middle ends, and they can really create some separation on the scoreboard. And Latvia, try and set up your corner guards, get a two. We're playing the third end, so it's lots of time left. Yeah, lots of time left. Uh, Latvia just needs a, a 
to score two points with their hammer. Just nice, simple curling. It's only the third end of play. Nothing requiring any significant panic yet. Um, Well, first stone in, we'll see if they decide to bring a second or just to the top part of the house or center line guard. This one's curling a lot. That one over curls a bit. They were uh, just playing to guard the front of that stone and it just over curls a hair on uh, China's lead. So it opens up, important to hold your shooter, even if you don't make the roll, Keep the shooter around because China with light if it rolls out or even if they get a nose hit might peel the corner. I'll well, make the hit now get the little flop use the corner great roll over to the side of the 12 foot. Yeah that's a great shot. Well, great control using the sweeping, not overthrowing it to make that hit and roll. Forces China to come after your shot. It's a good aggressive shot to, to play with the hammer. Yeah, and China attempting to combat this with uh, inside out, down weight. Um, they'd like to hit the rock in the rings. They don't mind if they hit the corner guard, but with this nice down weight, and look like they've got it. That's a great shot. Uh, had they hit the top corner guard with that nice hack weight, nothing, nothing up, they would have rolled right on the rings or bumped into their rock in the top of the top of the house and knocked it on. The one dilemma with not hitting the corner guard is that there's still a corner guard. Block dogs. Well, these are shots you need to execute, trying to score your two. The plays to the corner, playing to your favor. Yeah, I really like the corner that Latvia put up. They put it onto the side that's really curling nicely, finishing nicely. And that was a well-thrown rock. That corner guard may be just a hair high could be a bit tighter, which uh, I think is why Team China is attempting these taps in the rings. Well, you saw the late finish. They will utilize that, get by the guard, and can get by with some room. Jin Li Liu. And this one's curling really hard. Well, that one won't get by. Will they roll it on? A little more weight, too. Just a hair more weight. I think she slid tight, and she knew that, and, and popped it a little, added a little weight to that shot. Well, there's a mistake by China. Now Latvia lies one. They'll look to get their two. Lita Linde throwing seconds rocks for Team Latvia. Well, this one not moving to use that one out in front. They lie too. So we'll jump over Sweden, Germany. Germany with one in the first. They Looks like they lie one on the button. Maria Pritz, four stone thrower, sitting at five and one. Nate. Nate. Trying to improve upon Nate. silver medal at last year's world championship and at the Olympics, trying to get gold. Here, looking to run that one in, misses it. They look, and it is one Germany. So, a steal by the German side. They lead two nothing. Solid start for 
Immigen Una Lehmann, her German squad. Yeah, that's a nice opening uh, to take a point and uh, steal one on Sweden is a nice opening uh, for that team from Germany. So, looking for a double here. Third from China. Well, there's the double made. You put them in the wrong spot, and that's what happens. Poor yeah. rock placement, and doubles made. Rock placement is really critical. That was not an easy double, though. I want to give all credit to the thrower from China. That was a steep angle. Um, it was well thrown, well called, perfectly swept, and now it goes from uh, Latvia scoring a simple deuce to uh, having to try and generate that again with just uh, four rocks left. Well, a hit and roll out. Saw the indication draw around. Kind of like the split. Bring two in, maybe get a force. Yeah, that's an option. I think uh, I think China thinks it might be a little early to try the split. Uh, I would. Uh, they're thinking they can steal. Uh, they're still thinking steal right now um, with that rollout. I can sense that they're getting a few mistakes and trying to utilize those. Lots of room, though, past the guard. That one goes deep. More weight. And outside there, Ilun Yang. Dacha Regja with the draw. They may be playing a freeze down to the back one. Ideally, they'd like to be in front of the T-line, but the line, they go down to it. We'll get shots done. Again, stone placement behind the T-line. Shot stone forces shot from their opponent. But any time we've seen Sedi Louis need to make a freeze, she has. Yeah, and again, she did not hesitate here uh, to call the freeze. She's not even going to bother with trying to knock that stone out of play. She realizes because it's behind the T-line, she can sit right on it and either make the scoring area much smaller or set herself up to steal another point. We're going to take a check on the draw speed here. So that clock is the running time, so the speed of the stone as measured in seconds between the hog lines on the sheet of ice, which are those thick blue lines. 15-4 well, weight should be real good, but doesn't have the line. Yeah, doesn't quite curl enough. Um, now all of a sudden, uh, Latvia goes from uh, maybe giving up a steal if uh, the right rock placement to China to uh, back to a possibility to score two again. Nose hit here is pretty good, isn't it? Nose hit's pretty good. Um, I think uh, China would try and throw the double. I think you do want to roll a little bit underneath that guard. Um, you know, that does leave the freeze, but... Uh, I think nose, maybe just a hair inside. Still touch that center line with your shooter. Well, 
Oh, first of Skip Stones. Vita Reja. Nose little roll, not much. Sits top and back of the forefoot. And you're uh, right there, gonna try and line up that double. Yeah, the second, I mean, hitting nose there, the double was the call. Um, there is still a chance for a jam. Um, you're likely gonna squish one of those rocks, that middle rock out. Um, just move it a little bit. Well, her draw wasn't in the right spot. They're first now, looking for the double. Sadie yeah. Louis, her final stone of this third end without the hammer. Three nothing lead in the game. Yeah, one of the things we've noticed here is Sadie Louis can uh, overthrow these doubles um, a little bit. Doesn't look like she has. This looks like nice control weight. It's trying to curl. I see the hand movement there by the sweeper trying to convince She's it to close. move. Kick it out far enough, it won't. And a but chance she, for two. But she is shot stone, so uh, Evita Regia, skip from Team Latvia, is going to have to make a hit and a stick on this stone. The good thing is it's right down the line she just threw. Oh, that was close. If that had curled just... Just had six more inches of ice long ways that would With have... With that, uh, uh, the quiet, quieter hit weight, yeah. you have to hit that so precise in order to make that because it was frozen on. Yeah. But that weight comes off of Sedja's hand so comfortably and so accurately. I think that's what she should stick with. So the final stone here. Hit, stick, get a deuce. Get within one. And it's a nice shot there for two points. Yeah, very nice. Just that control hit weight. And it'll sit in the eight foot. And Latvia on the board. They get a deuce in this third end. So cut into the lead. It's now 3 2. China on top. Well, look over on sheet D, and it is Russia against the United States of America on the ice, battling it out, one nothing. Russia leads an important battle in the standings because U.S. dropping two yesterday. Allison Pottinger, final stone. Trailing by one, no, trying to get no. one. It looks like that red stone, a freeze by Anna Sidorova. Cut down the scoring zone. See if it is, or if it is a draw for two. It was a draw for two. And she didn't get that extra point. So one point left on the ice. Allison won't be happy with that result. One only. They're all square Russia, USA on sheet D. And we come back to our feature game where Team Latvia finally got rid of the hammer after the third end with their nice score of two points. And they throw first. Looking for a center guard. 
Going to put some rocks in play here. And there's the line score. A deuce in the first by China. The steal in the second. Two back in the third by Latvia. Lost earlier today in their game against Canada. They traded deuces in the first three ends. Then Canada got a steal. And then only singles for Latvia going down 8-4. Haven't won since their first game of the event. Lost five straight, trying to snap that streak here against China. Yeah, and they're going to do this by putting some rocks in play. That's uh, Latvia's goal. They are ignoring that rock drawn into the rings by Team China. That's box. So this one coming up a little light, I think. But still, two rocks in the free guard zone. Sorry, that. <laughs> Not Team China looking for a draw round. Take away the path to the forefoot. Take control of the scoring area. You really want this rock to stop above the T line. It's just behind it. Boy, that rock curled a lot. Yeah, we're seeing lots of movement out there. Especially with that turn, go around those center line guards. That's us doing David. Us doing Piet. Us doing Piet. So they're around the center line guards. Now just looking for this rock to stop on the button and it just slides a little deep in the rings. It might be, it looks like it's second shot. Yeah, I think it stopped just in time in the back. Trying to get a steal on the second end, but they decided not to peel a couple of guards early and here looking at the double peel. Yeah, I think with these rocks uh, close together, um, even though they are shot underneath them, uh, those are the rocks that are going to cause them trouble. So, Second, Jin Li Lui. Uh, Nailed it. Was just talking about uh, whether or not to play the other turn. And uh, one of the things that I recommend is if, uh, if there was ever any doubt about which turn you want to play, um, make sure you get comfortable with it as the shooter. Um, but also recognize that the person in best command of those angles is the skip in the house. She's standing right above the stones and knows, uh, knows better than anyone on the far end can see how those angles will work out. Well, and where they rolled that one, that top red stone that they hit, spun it over to the side. A little bit of a, a break and something Latvia can try and use to aggressively try and get their deuce. Yeah, I think uh, the skip from China knew that that bounce was possible. She had motioned that there was a rock that was going to sit over there. And uh, 
you know, a really smart way to open up the forefoot. The one thing is, is that how much that side curls, where that red Latvian stone sits, that draw is gone. Uh, that out turn draw, or left to right from where we're looking, draw into the forefoot is gone. Well, make the hit, avoid that one in the back. So we thought it was second shot in the back, so I think they lie too. Yeah, and I, I would have liked to have seen Latvia roll away from that corner as much as possible. I know they were navigating their own rock in the back of the rings there. But um, now it looks like you can uh, potentially make the double and roll under that corner guard for China. Well, they hit and roll in front instead. Again, that's an experienced call for the young uh, Chinese skip not to try and go for the double. You can just hit and roll in front. Makes this hit tough, forces them to roll somewhere, and if they roll too far, then you have a hit to lie too. Yeah, and if this comes up at all, and the way it curls here, this is very easy to jam the stone onto the back red one. Dacia, Areja can make the hit and will jam the back one. So lose what looked like a chance at the two. They'll now have to make something in order to bring that back into play. Well, they're looking at, uh, without the hammer, giving up a multiple point end to China. Um, so Yi Lun Yang. The veteran player on this Chinese team, as it were, um, trying to stick around in the rings, just maybe overthrew that one a hair. Yeah, Rolls out of play. That's a real disappointing result, not being able to stick that one around. Yeah, just uh, threw a little bit more weight than uh, most of the other Chinese takeouts have been. Uh, yeah, Well, mistake for mistake as that one just ticks it over. I can't hold enough to remove it. Yeah, that's a difficult spot. Um, Dacia Reza, the third for Team Latvia, got bit by that uh, hard curling side on both of those takeouts. Well, cut over sheet B now, and Maria Pritz in Sweden give up the steal in the second. Looks like an opportunity for a multiple score. Uh, lots of stones in there in Germany. Been trying a couple runbacks, trying to cut some of those Red stones down and here. Get rid of that yellow. Spin it off that one. And one, two, three for Sweden. You can put those up on the board in the lead for Sweden. So with that miss by Team Latvia, Yi Lun Yang gets a chance to make up for that rollout by putting this rock in the rings. Well, draw in, lie three, try and keep them separated. So, skip stones, how do you try and limit the damage? Make the double? Uh, yeah, it looks like the double is available and your shooter would still stay on the rings. You really want, uh, I think you want to force China to try and hit something. Um, uh, that's how you're going to get, uh, I think, a chance to escape uh, those uh, missed shots at third for Team Latvia. Um, China may hit and roll out. But uh, 
Evita needs to uh, make this double here. Well, I see the numbers coming in through their first six games in the 60s for Evita. Trying to make a double. And clip the back one, just misses it. But will stay top 12 foot as second shot. to make the hit you have to be careful you don't over curl this end up clipping that back one said louis looking to score multiple points not just two but an opportunity at three if she can roll to a nice spot yeah i'll well, make the hit a little roll to the center they go a little too far is there a double now uh, there may be a double, but uh, more than the double, I think uh, Team Latvia needs to try and tuck this stone underneath uh, that red rock out in front of the rings. Um, I think that's got to be priority number one at this point, uh, forcing China to draw for a single point. Well, without last rock, just got a deuce and trying to avoid giving up three. Not being skipped, needs to come up with a key shot this moment. Well, no roll whatsoever. Gets it on the beak. Open hit for the triple to double their score total after four ends. And in China's wins, this is what they've done well. They've got up and scored points early in the game. Yeah, and this has just been, uh, you know, unfortunately when uh, you get a couple of misses out of a third and uh, it's just a, a tough situation for Latvia facing a an ominous house, three, three counters. Um, but with that, so final stone, open hit and stick. Sweepers cleaning this one, has all the rings to use, sticks around, and it is three for China as they take out that red Latvian stone. To go up 6 2 after four ends of play.
Well, look in on sheet A, Switzerland and Korea. As you see that Korean stone, the yellow one on the side of the forefoot. Unchi Kim throws fourth stones. Here for Ji Song Kim, who's in the house calling the game. And chasing, haven't really got things set up uh, throughout, but made a nice shot with her first. Now a chance here. Make the hit, stick, score two. Nicely done, Korea takes a 2-1 lead over the Swiss, who have yet to miss uh, in any game so far at 5-0. and Our game, there's the line score, China. Two in the first, one stolen in the second, three in that fourth end. Just too many mistakes there by Latvia that, to come back from. Navita couldn't bail out with either of her shots. Yeah, it's just uh, it's uh, when you don't have the hammer and uh, and rocks are building up against you, you really, really need to execute your shots. And unfortunately for Team Latvia, they just uh, they got some half shots and uh, a couple of uh, over curled shots and. Uh, got themselves into a difficult position for the skips last stones. Well, the first stone deep. I think the second one was probably coming in either way with the score, so try and protect that one. Go top four foot. Ray Wang. Yeah, Indication again are, that's hot. Sweepers are right off, and this one's actually... Uh, they're, they've switched to a tick shot here. Uh, nope, they just missed it. So that was nice uh, awareness. To uh, try something. Yep. Well, I'm a little surprised once they missed that, they didn't try and keep going to take it even further back. Now that's a nice setup for Latvia uh, to use those stones to their advantage with a corner guard out in front. Yeah, it's, a, it's an opportunity. So in order to uh, capitalize on it, they need to execute these shots here. Um, so this come around is very important to the setup here. Jacqueline Litwanece, her second rock here in the fifth end. Line looks good. If they can just drag this a little farther, it'll tuck it around behind that corner guard a bit. And an interesting note, she's a fellow Olympian. Yeah, I know. She's in the club. It's a, it was a, an interesting fact to learn about this curler from Latvia. Um, as you might be surprised, Latvia has not curled in an Olympic Games just yet. They uh, played the Olympic qualifier this year and uh, came up a little short of achieving that Olympic dream. But uh, Jacqueline was a sailing Olympian. Yeah, in the discipline of single-handed dinghy sailing event in Sydney. Yeah, so in the Sydney Games, Sydney, Australia in 2000. So obviously a multi-talented athlete. Maybe looking to be a multi-sport Olympian, summer yeah. and winter. Join some of the fa famous uh, summer winter crossovers. We see a lot of that happening uh, in uh, speed skating to cycling. We see a lot of that from track and field to bobsled. Uh, the summer winter games. Well, It'd be really fun for, uh, for Latvia to see that uh, sailing to curling. Well, they hit and unable to stick around. They were trying to play the hit on it. They could have played a little tap freeze, kept stones around. Yeah, I think um, being down by four points, I think uh, that Latvia really needed to leave those Chinese rocks in there. I know they look dangerous, they look a little scary, but those rocks were their friends. Uh, 
and uh, as opposed to hitting them, they might have wanted to, as you said, just sit on top of them. Um, so now uh, China's going to try a hit and roll or even just a, a simple peel. But I think they would like their shooter to stay in the rings with those rocks sitting around the back. Well, avoid the jam. We'll make the little hit. Little Score two points. Uh, not just play the freeze just yet. You're still on seconds rocks. Um, Get a mistake on one of the peels and have something to use. Yeah. Well, you hear the encouragement to try and sweep this one, get it. Did they overgo on it early as it comes down? Very nice, get shot stone. Yeah, that's a great shot. Um, uh, super awareness by the shooter to uh, keep the angle on that shot. And, uh, and that just that little bit of separation uh, creates some some anxiety for uh, China on this angle. Uh, lots of momentum can come off a stone when it runs one into another. So Yi Lun. <laughs> Looking to blast, or uh, try and get that one out. Not throwing big weight at it. And she's over curling here a little bit. And I think. Uh, Just nose. Yeah, which. Pretty good uh, result. Yep, yeah, if she's shot, that's a great result. And she is shot stone. So shot stone for China, sitting on the side of the eight foot. As we look at the standings coming in, a big game for China. They are tied with the US at three and two. Followed, they're right behind Korea and Russia. So depending how things work out, they could be tied for fourth the end of this draw. Switzerland still looking to stay unbeaten. Yeah, you called this moving day and you weren't kidding. There, were, there can be a significant change in standings and lineups. Uh, Very nice shot back. Keeps a good angle on that front one. They can get rid of the yellow. They don't remove their red. Yeah, that was a really nice shot by uh, Dace Regza. She was looking to... Uh, to make a big shot after the last end. And now the problem in even playing to try and pick that red one out is you play the out turn. You could catch it thin, pick your own, or jam onto the yellow. It's a nice yeah. little setup right now after a couple of good stones by Latvia. Yeah. Uh, you can see uh, third for China coming down to help take a look at these angles. Well, do you have to play the pick? Just go down, know what could go wrong, but to try and execute, but you, if you over curl, you catch the yellow, probably jams onto the other yellow, you lose both the oars. Yeah, I think at this point, though, um, you have to risk that. You've got a four-point lead. You, you've got to play the scoreboard, and... Uh, Oh, Yi Lun Yang. Ask for a little more ice herself. Yeah, I don't know if that was uh, changing the turn or because uh, that's a lot more ice. That's yeah. that's more than a little more ice. Trying to pick this one clean through the hole. It's close. Well, avoid their yellow. Pick it right through the hole. Very nice. That's yeah, a that's a great shot. shot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Very happy with this call by uh, Evita Regza. Um, she played the hit on those stones earlier in the end, a little too early. And uh, smart recognition to use the Chinese stone to hold their shooter in the rings. Well, Dace Regia trying to sit on the corner of it. Try and keep the line, but over curling a bit. Do they have enough to get shot? I think it over curled a little bit. It's very close. As they look and see who shot stone there, look over. She be Sweden against Germany. Megan Una Lehmann, German skip, her first world championship as a skip. Got her first win yesterday, looking for her second against Sweden. Very young German team, minus the experience of Andrea Schopp. And here the intern draw facing a couple. Right to the forefoot, right to the button. She's been good, had a couple of shots against multiple counters, and no problem there. Yeah, that's a nice draw to tie that game up at 3-3 after four ends. I thought it overcurled just a hair and that it was uh, China that was shot stone. Sedia Louis is going to sit on the corner of it, maybe touch it a little bit to make sure. Yeah, just move it just a hair to guarantee that they're shot. Uh, and that would also change the angle so that uh, if Latvia played the hit on their next one, it would drive it onto the back red one. And this will go right by both of them and freeze the back. Not sure uh, what was going on there. They they sweep to change the plan to play the freeze. Realize they weren't going to get the freeze on the top one. Yeah, that was a little uh, uh, tweener shot, I think. Uh, they thought they had the weight for one and were anticipating a little bit more curl. But there was, a, I think, a little more weight than uh, was called for there. Trying to get their attention from the other end. Sedia Louis. Trying to figure out if she likes it or not. Nice to see the smile. Yeah. And I've seen a lot of that from her as Latvia now. There's a look at those two. Yeah. I think it's yellow. Yeah, from this angle, it looks like it's yellow. And uh, considering how much uh, Latvia is taking a look at this, it must be yellow shot. Um, if that was the case, if it was clear, I don't know why China wouldn't have drawn to the other side. So it must be very, very close. Very close, but I don't think we'll ever find out. So looking for a hit and a roll. Well, there's the hit. Roll and sit down, got a stop to be second shot, but it'll continue to roll and rolls out. Just, okay. as we've said before in this one, a half shot. Yeah, and now we're gonna shot. be forced. Yeah, they let China off the hook here. Um, they made some nice freezes and some had some real good rock placement. Team Latvia has for the last couple of stones and then with that rollout, just unfortunate timing on that. It's a great shot of the mother-daughter combination back there, though. Um, it's an interesting dynamic, uh, team dynamic with the mother-daughter. Uh, it has happened many times over the years at the World Championships. Um, I think there's been several mother-daughter combinations.
Well, looking for the hit. Now they want to stick around. And we'll roll out. Yeah, and I don't know if there's anything Latvia can do with that uh, combination in the back left corner of the, of the rings as you were looking at it there. Well, minor mistake by Sedia Louis. They've faltered a little bit in the middle of games when they've got up. Trying to keep that consistent play throughout. Keep executing. It looks like Latvia sees that there's a very low percent of trying to move that one and get two. And she's going to play the straight draw here. So the final stone of the fifth end for Latvia. Eight foot or better. So as it starts to curl, it'll take some of the weight off this shot. Sweepers holding it. Oh, Dace out to help, but not needed. It's good there to the four foot. They get one, but will trail 6-3. Heading to this fifth end break. Here is draw 10 from St. John, New Brunswick, Canada, and the Ford World Women's Curling Championship. And to look back at a key shot to the second end. Latvia looking to tap their own red and move a yellow counter off the button. With a hard sweep, just rub the guard and give up a steal of one to go down by three points. In the third end, with some excellent rock placement of the last four rocks, Latvian skip, Evita Regza, has a wide open hit and stick for a deuce to pull within one point of China. With some unfortunate half shots by Team Latvia, Team China has a wide open hit to score three points and take a 6-2 lead into the fifth end where Latvia was forced to a single point. Look over Russia, USA. Huge in, uh, playoff implications in this one. Both teams with two losses over there. Nelson Pottinger gave up two in the fourth end to Anna Sidorova, missing a double on her last. Allowing the draw for two, now has a hit for two herself. This hit and stick will get her two points and tied right back up. So halfway through that one, it's three all USA taking on Russia. The other games going on, Korea leads Switzerland 3-1. Switzerland trying to continue their win streak at 5-0 and in Sweden. Germany tied 3-3. And as you saw after five ends, USA, Russia all square after five. Yeah, 
之前半程的罗宾，如果出的是个点非常小的，你想控制线才吸把球吸非常好。否则的话，你要等到后半程扫地效果才能上来。你俩扫地能不能先够 ？OK， 不用着急，看好，观察好，啊，不错，就这么打就行。好的，下一个，还是就是你先你先手的时候，后手就把中区给你控制住，中区是我防控的，要么中区。保证你的你的你的投底线一侧平线 ，OK， 好吧。Well, look at the stats through five ends of our feature game China and Latvia. Six three lopsided scoreboard, and percentages seventy two to sixty two overall advantage draws by six percent, and a big difference in the hits, the one stolen point, and the three on the board. China's had good control, and we'll see if they can hold on to it. They've had some lapses. And I'm sure that's what they're talking about in their fifth end break right now. Yeah, how to keep the pressure on Team Latvia and uh, and and keep that uh, separation on the scoreboard uh, that China has secured so far through this first half. Uh, Latvia, on the other hand, they just need to up their execution by just a little bit. It's uh, you know they've been so close a couple of times to uh, uh, to having a really nice end develop and. Uh, they just need to make sure they uh, make the shots in the back half of their lineup. They were quite upbeat up for a team down 6-3 in their fifth end break saying, we're going to go for the steal four straight times. So, You know, it's one of the things I like about both of these teams so much is uh, the personality that they exhibit, the... The, the, the true sportsmanship, how supportive they are of their teammates. Um, even through disappointment and missed shots, they are very much in the moment that they're given, very respectful of each other and how, uh, how every player is really trying to make every shot as best they can. Jacqueline Letanetje. 78% on the game. Looking to throw a center line guard here. That's a really well placed rock right between the car and the logo. So China's going to do this same plan that they used. Uh, in the fourth end, which generated a score of three. Hui Wang will be asked to draw a rock into the side of the house. 75% for Ray Wang, and this one, a bit of a rocket will slide through. Yeah, just a hair overthrown. And uh, one of the things about arena ice is after the fifth end break, um, or during the fifth end break, the ice crew uh, runs a mop up and down just to stave off any frost building up while the players are off and just to make sure everything's clean. And uh, one of the phenomena that happen with that is that uh, the ice gets a little quicker in the sixth end. So uh, rocks tend to slide into the rings, slide a little bit further in the sixth end of play. Teams just need to be aware of that. Yeah, and as this is Ray Wang's first world championships, uh, that may be uh, something that she's got to clearly learn maybe the hard way. Another truism, you have to live it to learn it. <laughs> and, uh, I'm going to start writing these down. <laughs> yeah, there'll be a quiz later, Luke. Uh. So with that missed first one, yeah, Wang now trying to draw behind, but not go deep. This one? It goes all the way through again. Um, just... Uh, a little overthrown, and then they were sweeping for line. They thought it was going to really curl hard. And a change it. To, in the lineup, they decide mix things up. New second here. Uh, actually, they shuffled the lineup. Um, they removed their third. Huh. Dacia Regja has uh, stepped off the ice, and that means, I believe, that Iliuta Linde will be throwing third for the last half of the game. And uh, 
Ava Berzina. Ava Berzina will be in at second. And uh, she makes a wonderful debut with that come around, showing half a rock. Really well thrown, considering she's been off the ice. And uh, I don't think she threw a rock during their uh, pregame practice. That's a nice shot by Chinese second, Jin Li Lui. Clears everything. From in front of the rings. Eva Berzina. Well, trying to guard up that one. I know it's uh, only in the 12 foot, but it's early in the end. You want to try and get that guard back out in front. Is that one open? And Yeah, that one just didn't curl up enough. The weight was nice, but uh, just didn't have line the whole way down the sheet. Leaving an open hit and roll here for Jin Lee Louis. They get the roll, just that one stone in the rings. Guard out in front. Could yeah, and it's around. decision time now for Team Latvia. Um, you're in the second half of the game. You've got a guard uh, close, uh, you know, in front of the forefoot. Um, how, how hard do you go for your steal? Um, I'm, I'm not a fan of using your own rock as a run back in this point. Um, you miss it all together, you lose your your guard. And you still leave China lying one. But electing to do it will peel their guard off. And tough to steal when you don't have any guards. Yeah, that's a really, um, really difficult uh, situation for Team Latvia. So with this situation now, China's main goal is obviously uh, to put a second scoring rock in the rings, but they want to do that with as much separation between the two rocks as possible. Limit the opportunity for a double and uh, really guarantee their score. And this one's skating quite far. This one needs to slow down and hang on. Well, it'll use all the rings, goes yes, back 12 will. foot. And that's as much separation as you can get from those two. Uh, and tough to really set up a, a steal. It's keep picking at one, one call, but uh, they had some other options, and it, it really changes the way the end is played now. The double peel was made. You have one guard still out in front. You don't really use it. You peel it off. Yeah, it really shifted the power, um, the control back to China. Um, even though China was shot rock in the rings, with that guard out front, it gave Latvia a lot of power in uh, dictating the, the strategy and pace of the end. Um, I would have really liked to have seen a rock come around that guard anywhere in the rings, and it would have, uh, would have uh, made uh, China have a tough choice. Yeah, tough coming back when playing hits down 6-3 without the hammer. So they get the nose hit, not sure if they're in the rings or not.
So not sure if that top one in the house or not. Looks like just out. They'll hit the back one. Well, that one out of the rings. And they can't put the, they, they do have a measuring device that you have to put around at the end of an end to see if it is in the rings or not. Uh, right. It can only be used in the first four if it's in the free guard zone. Right. Whether they can move it or not. for a free guard zone rock. The only time that measurement can happen during an end. Otherwise, it'll be at the very... After all the stones have been played, that one hits the back one. So skip stones. And Teddy Louis would have loved to score a deuce, but not giving up a steal, not really being forced right now. He has no problem putting uh, zeros up for the sixth end. And hit sticks back 12 foot. And Team Latvia is going to just play a takeout. They're going to really want to stick around here. Um, if they happen to roll out, that leaves a split for two for Team China. So uh, hit and stick, very critical for Team Latvia. See the lower numbers for Vita, 61. And there's the rollout now. See them split that one, just barely have to touch that one to get it in. These are a shot, it's similar. Correct me if I'm wrong, similar to a tick shot, that it's tough to put the broom down sometimes because you're not playing it normally. Yeah, but I think how you have to look at this is um, really, she, she can throw anything from, uh, I mean, almost back line to top 12 weight. So setting down the ice, you just need to make sure you're giving yourself the right window and decide what you're going to throw in order to make this shot. So the final stone, sixth end, Sadie Louis. Nothing in the rings, just that one stone out in front, and they're going to look to touch it, roll in. This one's staying on the center line, needing to touch that one, and now they'll try and take it through to get a blank. And they will not touch that one, just for the weight thrown, too much ice. They'll wait to, for a confirmation. And it is a blank, so sixth then no score. And it will remain 6-3. China on top.
Welcome back inside Harbor Station. Here in the 2014 Ford World Women's Curling Championship, Luke Coley joined by Anne Swisshelms. You're watching China take on Latvia. It is draw 10. China trying to win a fourth straight game after starting 0-2. Blank that last end will retain Hammer and see if Latvia tries to keep a few more stones around. They uh, put the guard out in front, played some hits late in last end. See the first stone out front off the center line. Now Ray Wang, who her two draws last end, right through the house. Yeah, a little heavy. Um, Sweepers are right off this again. Indicating that this is heavy as well. This a case just coming out of the hack, just a little bit too much kick and not being able to pull back enough. Yeah, just, uh, you know, that's going to hang on. Look at that. And that's actually ends up in a perfect spot. That's well thrown by Ray Wang. Um, uh, it's, uh, two better sweepers uh, uh, left it at the uh, hog line, but... Uh, And 3-3 over on sheet D, Russia, USA. Both two lost teams. Russia's second game of the day. They won earlier today. U.S. another tough day. They had Sweden and Canada yesterday, now Russia. And here the run back, Anna Sidorova. And she will stuff it, leave it in the forefoot. And the U.S. steals it and takes the lead after six ends. So 4-3, Russia will have the hammer as they play seven. And Latvia realizing that they need to start trying to steal some points here on Team China. Have put up two guards. Well, they had to get in behind in that one. They were just hoping and trying to convince that stone to stop just a little bit before. It goes just most of that rock beyond the T-line, behind those two guards. This gives Latvia a great opportunity to freeze a rock down there. Just the third shot of the game after they made a lineup change. Berezina into the lineup at second. So we'll look over on sheet A, Switzerland and Korea. Look at the mess of stones they got. And Benia Felcher playing the angle raise after Unchi Gim and Korea made a great draw, a little tap to get shot rock. Okay. Well, won't do it. it. Be a steal of one. Not sure if she was trying to get through the hole and overthrew it or play that outside and changed halfway down. Nonetheless, a 4-1 Korean lead after six ends. Korea trying to knock Switzerland from the unbeaten ranks. A loss by Switzerland mean we have a three-way tie atop the standings. With Canada and Sweden already at five and one. But Sweden is in action here this afternoon as well. And the second for China is throwing a double peel here. Looks like she's only going to get a single peel. And again, this is a great chance for Latvia to uh, freeze a rock down there. So we take a peek well, in on uh, sheet B, Sweden and Germany. And again, uh, the freshman skip from Germany drawing against several Swedish counters here in the sixth end. Luna Lehmann trying to stay in this one. 
Battling back and forth, made some shots when needed, and again. Sweeper's facing, guiding this rock right into the forefoot. Facing a couple, they get their one, actually three, and it is 5-4 now, Sweden. They're through six ends. A couple multiple point scores by Sweden, the difference in that one. Looking at the peel. We'll get that center line guard off. Leave China lying too. Yeah. One here, you see the broom down. Looks like playing the hit, and it's just a it's a tough one. May feel more comfortable with uh Linde move into the third position, more comfortable with the hits. Figure they better chance not that feel of the draw, but tough to really force the issue as that one just grazes over the top of it. Tough to set things up when you're playing hits. Yeah, Latvia needs to fall in love with the Chinese rocks. They really do. They really need to find a way to love having those rocks in play. China's doing them a huge favor by putting rocks behind the T-line, and Latvia needs to capitalize on that. Um, you know, uh, that hit and roll out is, is detrimental. It allows, it allows the Chinese team to go underneath this corner guard. And it's to the point where giving up another deuce is like giving up five or six. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, it doesn't really matter at this late stage of the game. Uh, the one good thing is China has been slipping rocks just a little deep, and that one sits on top of the team line, which is a great shot. So back 12 foot. And here, electing to play the hit, just. Does not feel confident or comfortable to go and play that freeze. And they're hitting a shot to not even get shot. So this is, that's really a, a, a a difficult or questionable choice. So, you know, we've been proven wrong before though, Luke. I mean, Skips may have a grand plan. They may know something. She may be waiting uh, until the right time to get these rocks a little above the T-line um, or a little closer up into the rings here. So now I wonder if, um, uh, as the third comes down, nope, they're still going to play a hit. Um, and for all you young skips out there, this is not the skip out there alone um, calling these hits. The other team might need to remind their, their skip, hey, uh, take a look at the scoreboard. We need to generate some offense here, and uh, it's very difficult to do that by hitting. You're banking on trying to getting some mistakes from China, and China has no problem hitting right back. They're in a position to try and get two, and a slip on the delivery there. Well, did she recover to make the hit right she on the nose? She does. That's that, an extraordinary shot. That's remarkable to fall, basically almost come to a stop and be able to have enough and saw a smile there. Yeah. And she just doesn't get her foot in the right spot underneath her. Just. Just went out from under and then continued on. Yeah, and I'd like to note that her eyes never left the target. She, that's, uh, she kept her eyes on that target even though uh, her slider wasn't on it. It's a tough one to swallow sometimes when you're out there and uh, the crowd's watching, you're on TV, and you can't hide anywhere. Yeah, 
but the but shot was made. She made the shot. Uh, we might not agree with the shot, and uh, it might not have been her favorite uh, <laughs> throw ever of Evita's life, but uh, she did execute it. Full marks. Yeah, full credit on that shot. So last shot here in the seventh end for the Latvian skip, Evita Regza. Mm -hmm. Well, trying to hit and stick. Did it while falling in her slide. This time she does it. With a beautiful throw. Good form there. It makes the nose hit. And it leaves China an open hit for two. That's... They said in their fifth end break, try and go for the steals and... Not to keep going on a point, but it is a, a tough strategy to try and steal or force your opponent playing open hits. Yeah, and uh, Sidia Louis has played a really nice game. She is uh, not missing a lot. And uh, here with her wow. hammer in the seventh end. Just clean. Sweepers right off here. There, make the hit, the stick, and there's the two. And that makes it 8-3. As that will finish seven ends. 8-3 advantage, five points ahead for China. Well, we are through seven ends. Here are the Ford World Women's Curling Championship, Lukoli and Swiss Elm. In our feature game, Team Latvia versus Team China on sheet C. With the score of two points in the seventh end, China takes a commanding eight to three lead going into eight. Uh, Latvia is going to have to do everything they can to generate rocks in play. Um, China's not going to let much hang around here in the rings. So. Uh, Oh, look at the lovely venue we are. Harbor inside. Station, Harbor Station in St. John, New Brunswick, Canada. Yeah, in Upper St. John, historic downtown, and the St. John Harbor, not far away. Popular spot for cruise ships to come in in the summer months. Yeah, the Bay of Fundy is a unique world wonder. The low tides, the high tides. China's Rei Wang trying to put this rock right into the forefoot. Yeah, they're up, so they're going into the forefoot. There you go, Luke. I'm getting it, finally. It took to day four to finally clue in. So we see the line score. The big score is the two in the first, three in the fourth, and two in the seventh for Team China. And by the way, all my little curling truisms, Luke, I've learned from people much smarter than myself. So... Uh, 
Latvia is trying to put up some corner guards. It's good to see this one might be a little long, but it'll still create some traffic in front of the rings, something that they can use. With their five point lead, China is going to have their lead throw the second rock through the rings. This is to really limit any kind of uh, granite laying around. Everything that's in play helps Latvia generate points. It's always fun as a lead when you get to throw, uh, throw a rock through. You see some of the stats there, and you see Rei Wang's stats are a little bit low. She had a couple of draws, skate through the house, and uh, rolled out on a couple of takeouts. And uh, just those few little misses uh, will create a, a pretty significant hit on the lead's percentages. And Jacqueline? With Dunece, puts up a nice corner guard there for Team Latvia. Jinli Louis will try a peel. She's going to get the double peel here. Oh, just missed it. That was a really great shot. Um, just missed it. That curled up just a fraction of an inch more. Oh, and you see the disappointment on Jin Lee's face. It was still a well-thrown rock, got rid of the guard. And this guard attempt goes right through. So when it rains, it pours. Brazina stepping in after the fifth end break and able to execute that one. We'll see the other corner guard get peeled off. Attempt, they're gonna try and roll this one off to the side. Sweeping for all they're worth, and they move it pretty far out of play. A look at the comparison of numbers, obviously, Berzina has fewer shots, so, but again, Liu, low numbers on her, on her hits there. Put the guard in the same position. Sometimes you like to move that around a little bit. Yeah, try and take advantage of what the ice is doing and what the ice is giving them. Yeah, some of the other angles. And uh, I might have put it right there on the 2014 logo. Make them think about how to peel it, which way their shooter rolls, is there a jam? Yeah, at this point, Latvian not only needs to execute, but they need to get as creative as possible. And again, try to use the Chinese rocks against China. Just move and move when you are putting the guards up, move them around, put them in different positions that. Because any time you're yep. moving a stone around, not allowing the opponent to throw a shot in the same position twice as we compare thirds here. Yeah, Most and that's a, that's a significant percentage. I know we had a player change. Linde had been at second most of the game until the last couple ends.
So good. Corner guard in a different position, so China yeah. has to deal with that one on the side or, and, and the they, one on the button. They've got to take a look at angles, how they're going to peel it, where the shooter's going to go. Look over at that mess. Looks like most of it behind the T-line on sheet D. USA, Russia, US leading 4-3 after that steal. Anna Sidorova missed a run back. Now get by the front, make this double, bring another one into play, spin them around. As the dust settles, what do they get? They get two. So 5-4, Russia over the US. Russia winning this morning. First team to win on sheet A with the Redstones wins 10-4. They will have the next two draws off. So the evening, morning combination off. And they're back on against Denmark and then China tomorrow evening. Latvia here just trying to move them around. I think they were trying to play a freeze there, trying to bring some play uh, down to that stone on the forefoot. Um, Team China is not going to waste any time or allow rocks to build up. They're going to take that rock right out of play. Well, it becomes a, a, a simple game, and I have been impressed. They have been more consistent throughout. They haven't had that little letdown, allowing their opponent to come back. And they gave up the 1-2. Oh. But other than that, they came right back with 3, so... More consistent one for China as they take out that center line guard. Nice throw by this young skip from China. So one stone in the rings in turn freeze. Yeah, Evita needs to lock her stone right onto that yellow stone. Well, gotta get this one there. Yeah. So working hard to put this one on the corner. Dragging it right down. What a great sweep by Team Latvia. And and smile smiles well all around, yep. So you see comparison. Low numbers on draws for both players. But hits 92% and Sadie Louis has played majority of hits in this game. Yeah. So um, there, she's going to try and throw a peel and spill everything. Uh, I might be tempted to throw a guard uh, if I was uh, China. Um, they are that's, a, that's a tough rock to get out of there. Um, it's not impossible. Um, but uh, you throw a good guard on this, and it makes... Uh, Latvia's life really tough to score two or even score one. Let's see. We're trying to make that red stone disappear. She's close. She's close. Well, catch it thin. Have enough push it out. I will not be able to. So the freeze is made in Latvia just like that. Gets a skips deuce opportunity. Yeah, so a nice uh, draw right into the rings here. Oh, 
That's a perfect example of uh, using China stones against them. China stone uh, there on the top forefoot held the Latvian stone in, in scoring position. So, final stone, Vida Reja. So, this is all about the sweepers. Put it in paint, and you get two. We get a third sweeper on this one. This looks pretty good to me. I'll just keep that one moving. A little work, but they get it there. And it is good for two and an 8 5 China lead. And still full control in this one. And they'll get the hammer as we head to the ninth end. Here's draw 10 from St. John, New Brunswick, Canada. So taking a peek over at uh, Switzerland, uh, Korea on sheet A. Switzerland, the lone undefeated team, having everything they can handle uh, with this Korean team. Binya Felcher, skip from Switzerland, playing a raise against three with her hammer stone in the seventh end. Doesn't have to move it that far, but needs perfect line. This will give you a good view of what she's facing. Hold the line, tap it up, right to shot stone, move it back, and get the single point. Still down, but gets the single point. 4-2, three ends remaining. Long way back for Switzerland because they give the hammer to Korea. And look over top here as we get your back, Latvia. Taking on China, Latvia at this point now, down three, two ends remaining. It's an all out. Keep rocks in play, try and control the center line as that one over curls on them. China here, try the tick shot, even though it's a little off the center already. Yeah, as long as you have plenty of time on your clock, this shot does not. We're just going to throw it through, I think. <laughs> so if you were going to throw it through, I think uh, try the tick shot. You don't lose anything. Um, again, as long as you have plenty of time. And they should have plenty of time. They'll be throwing takeouts. Yeah, they had uh, about 19 minutes still remaining. And it will just be the throw through. I think this is a bit of a, a lost opportunity. It may not be critical in this game, but it may be something that uh, a shot that they want to employ in one of their next games or later in this round robin or even a semifinal or a page playoff. So uh, seeing how those work, giving their lead a chance to throw them and make them is a fantastic opportunity. And if she happens to miss it, she just rolls out. She just rocks go back. It's just like throwing it through. Yeah. 
Well, second guard goes out. Not a lot of separation. It was actually a double peel there. Now you draw around. You could throw this one away knowing you like the angles. And here they're going to play the tick on this one, try and tap it into the rings. Mm -hmm. Just an over-the-top kind of tick shot here. Well, just trying to touch that one off, off to the side. Can't remove it. And Ray Wang does that beautifully. Well, very nice. Able to make that one. This a little tick shot. Open up that four-foot line. And China control in this game. 8-5. Second, Iveia, Berniza. Just trying to put another guard in position, something they can use. Well, tight to the rings. Do you like this going after the tight one as opposed to thinking, uh, first thought is the double peel, knowing that one a little off center doesn't hurt them? Yeah, I don't mind the double peel. Um, you know, I'm trying to think a couple of rocks out here. Um, she might be thinking she's going to get the rock in the rings. Um, I'll try and get the one off of the side stone. To no avail, slides right by. Team Latvia putting this uh, center line guard back. That's a great shot. Well, we'll keep doing this for a little bit and they'll have to try and use one of those guards if they still have them out in front. Yeah, and it's nice and deep and it makes that uh, slash double uh, difficult. Well, trying to catch the one on the side. And just the straight peel. Well, time to look over Sweden, Germany, eighth end. And Sweden, a one point lead. Has one shot stone. Always nice to score in the eighth end, especially a two to go up three if Maria Pritz draw this one in there. And this Olympic silver medalist squad, they lost the final at the World Championship a year ago in Latvia. And this one, sweepers right off it. Will come right down. Touch that back one, just stops in time. So it is two for Sweden. They take a 7-4 lead after eight ends. The question was not how many shots they can make, but whether they might burn out a little bit after an Olympic run. And they let down a little bit after an Olympics. Yeah, I think they're very hungry for their world championship. Team they, Sweden. They know what it tastes like to get that gold. They won the European Championship this year. Yeah, and we've got a situation where we've got a timeout called by Team Latvia. We'll let you listen in to that. 
Tad ir jāiet. Viņi dubul to mēģinās. Šitā? Jā. Jā. Drušo mājā var iet pagaduši. Tiktais atmiņas. Es domāju, ka... Pirmo var būt nolikt? Kaut kur te var būt. Pirmo ir nolikt. Aukšā, ja tu viņi mēģinās apsvarīt. Ar šitā? Platāk? Jā, vai drīzāk platāk. Nolikt te? Tāpat mēģinās šī to sīstāk. Kaut kā vajadzētu vēl uz tevi uzmanīt. Vienīgais vēl var nolikt te? Nolikt klāt? Nē, 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 tas ir pārgru vēl. Vēl par agru, jā. Nav sarga pēc tam pašām, kur iet. Nolikt sarga, es domāju, kaut ko tāda revīca bija nolikt. Liek klāt? Būtu mēģināt vēl sārgu. Šitē ne te kaut kur. Platāk. Vienkārši platāk. Lai viņš, ja viņš pārkrīt, tad viņš dzenās kajā, piemēram, viņā. Jo platāk, kas mēs šitē rītāk visi. Arī, arī. So after discussion with her coach and father, uh, Skip and team from Latvia decide to... ...throw the guard. Well, that makes sense. Put that one out in front. Now the chance for the double peel is significant. And uh, if the double peel is made, then I think you might uh, might try splitting the house in uh, some kind of crazy way and hope for uh, a miss. There's still, still several stones left. We're just now getting in the back half of the stones for this end. Well, trying to make the double peel. And we'll catch it and jam it, roll it to the center. So they have a center line guard to use. As we look over, keeping you up to date, USA and Russia. Russia with the lead. And it is Russia lying one. Has that one top eight foot. Allison Pottinger looking to draw in, take her one in eight to tie things up. Needs a win today. They're in a little bit of a tough stretch. They got Russia right now. They got Switzerland tonight. As Allison's able to get right into the eight foot, get the single point, all square. Tough two days uh, schedule for Team USA as they had Sweden and Canada yesterday, Russia and Switzerland today. They need a win today, one of the two for sure. Yeah. And that puts them in good stead. They still need to win the rest of them going out. Um, and uh, here on our feature game, you see a fantastic draw by the third for Latvia. And uh, it gives them a chance for a steal. They're sitting one and two right now. Yeah, it was nice to take advantage of that. The, they were trying the double peel, that being China. They rolled one to the center. So trying to slash this one, get one of the two right in between, clears that center line off. Still Latvia lying two. And skip stones upcoming. Latvia tries to steal down three. There's a look at the standings as we sit. Switzerland 5-0, and oh, but trailing right now. Canada and Sweden right behind, and Korea, Russia, USA all with two losses, along with China, who's at three and two. And Scotland and Germany with four losses. 
Five losses the way it's looking, probably too many. Denmark, Latvia, and the Czech Republic looking for their first win. Avita Reja put the center line guard out in front. Guard up that stone, top four. Leaves a little bit of that one exposed. That may be just a bit of a teaser shot for Team China, leave just a hair and uh, they go for it. But we've seen Sedia Louis make many of these delicate Tap shots. And now it's China's turn. They will use their, we'll call it a timeout, but coach interaction. Tan Wei Dong will make his way down. Yeah, the team signals a timeout, but it is, uh, the time only stops uh, for as long as it takes the coach to walk out to the team. And the coach only has a certain amount of time to get out there. He yeah, can't, so he can't, he can't dilly go for a, a washroom break before he makes his way out there? Nope. Uh, it's a predetermined amount of time set by the officials at each event based on logistics of the event. Well, as they discuss there, let's look over Switzerland. Down 4-2, and look at those yellows. Chance here. Onshi Gim could get a handful. And possible handshakes if they're able to get there for their five. Has to punch this one out. Trying to knock Switzerland off. And the nose hit. And that's good for five. And quickly, Arin Shori and Team Switzerland Concedes defeat for the first time. A 9-2 Korean win. So Switzerland, Canada, and Sweden all now 5-1. and one. As we look at the standings now up to date, Switzerland, Canada, Sweden, all 5-1. and one. Sweden in action right now. Korea at 5-2. and two. Russia, 4-2. and two. China, in the U.S. at three and two. Yeah, with Korea's win, that makes the game between USA and Russia even more important. So after discussion with their coach, it looks like Team China has decided to play that delicate hack weight tap come around, take out. Well, look, as they record the game, I'll go over it, as these are full-time curlers. Yeah, most of the uh, federations record their team's play. Uh, you see lots of cameras there on the coaches' benches. Well, Tan Weidong made his way back to the bench now, and. Bird's eye view for. It looks like going after that stone in on the top of the button. Well, got to paper the guard. Can they hold it? Get by. They're past the guard. Now get that one in the forefoot. And a little roll. Very nice. Great. Job with the sweeping to we'll use the curl, get past the guard, make the hit, and a little roll. Yeah, that was perfectly swept shot. Um, look at this great sweeping. And take that Latvia stone right off the top of the forefoot and out of play. The good news for Latvia, that guard is still there. And uh, so they make a nice little hit and roll, and they will still have China in a 
difficult position. Uh, but this is a this is a tough shot. It's hit and roll to a very precise location, and is the hit played uh, knowing that your second shot that even if you don't make the perfect roll, you might get a force as opposed to the straight draw, which you might be able to put in there in a in a better spot. I. She needs to score here. Uh, so whatever she has to do to get a rock Baby. behind that guard Please. is critical. Well, they make a hit and roll, but it rolls out in the open, back eight foot. Just over curled a hair on them. Uh, I like the weight. That was a great weight sh selection. Um, something nice and easy. Put your sweepers into play. Unfortunately, it just curled a little bit too much. So China just make the hit. Just want to score. Sadia Louis, final stone, ninth end. Look at the majority of hits at 85%. Well, needs to stick around, hits, rolls, and stop. Just biting the eight foot. And that is good for a single point. Uh, so it makes it 9-5. China gets their one. Yeah, this is a great shot of the two teams meeting between ends. Well, 9-5 the score as a single score by China. That's all they needed to do was make sure that they scored. They have the four-point lead and I'm sure we will see two stones through for Ray Wang. Yeah, I can't imagine that China would uh, want something in play at all. And right through. See Latvia put up these corner guards. Jacqueline Leranice. to put these corner guards into position. We'll need a few misses, but trying to give them a chance. Stomping. Stomping. 
We'll need this one to stop, and it will stop just out in front. Thank you. <laughs> and another final. It yeah, is Sweden you. winning, so 11-4 will be the score. They steal four in the ninth end of that one to make it a final 11-4 seven-point win for Sweden, and that officially puts them on top of the leaderboard with a sixth victory. Sweden has the evening and morning off. Yeah, well-deserved rest after a two-win day for Team Sweden. Sweden back on tomorrow afternoon against Scotland, and then they'll play Switzerland. So Team Latvia here looking for a second corner guard. So a second corner, and now that we're into second stones, peels will ensue. Yeah, it's... Uh, Look over Russia and the U.S. 5-5 five, five in the ninth end, and USA lying four at a Sidorova. Needs to hit and stick and get her one. U.S. scored in the eighth end, looking to get a force in this ninth, and then the hammer into the tenth end. Anna Sidorova with the quiet wait, accomplishes her part, gets one. They have a one point lead as they'll head to the 10th end. As we check back in here to our feature game, China Latvia. A nice peel there. Um, no need to even go for a double peel with a four point lead. Um, really just very basic single peel shots by China will uh, ensure an early handshake. So the sweepers are right off this one. Uh, so just, oh, there we go. We get a little work right at the end. Well, both very tight to the rings. Yeah, nice and even. <laughs> Jenny Liu. We'll get the peel. China just eliminate opponent stones. Right now, a four point lead, a comfortable position. In this 10th end. Well, they decide yeah, yeah, yeah. to draw to, one in. Yeah, it's time to come in the rings. Uh, And the thinking here, you come in no. with the last of seconds. Ah. <laughs> they try to get it in. <laughs> Give themselves try and come in behind and hope for a numerous misses. So. Uh, from China says, don't worry, just throw this. She says, we got this. <laughs> I don't speak Chinese, but I can imagine that she said, don't worry, make this shot. Angles are good. Just get rid of the one. Yep. And even if you move it into the rings, just bounce some things around. It's a little down weight on that shot. Um, Well, just four remaining, and they need four to count. Yeah, in order to not have the hammer in the extra end. It's a, it is a tall order 
for uh, yeah, yeah. the team from Latvia, from Riga, Latvia. It'd be interesting to see the stats of teams down four in the 10th end to come back and win the game. So that stone may be a little light, but uh, there's still a, it's still usable. It's still They're close workable. Enough that yeah. they can be tapped up. So China, if they make a double peel, that's game. Or if they bounce one of these rocks into an unusable okay. position. Well, they'd like to get rid of both and just end it now. And, and we'll see if that one will spin like all the way do. through. And that will do it. So China will pick up the victory. They knock off Latvia, continue their winning ways. Now four in a row for China. It'll go down a 9-5 victory. Latvia drops to one and six. So with handshakes on our feature game between China and Latvia, we're going to shift over to sheet D. USA down one versus Russia playing the 10th end. USA has last rock advantage. So we check in here at seconds rocks. So, Russia sitting count one and two behind a couple of guards in front of the rings. Team USA skip Allison Pottinger has second Natalie Nicholson uh, throw a peel. Uncharacteristic miss by Natalie Nicholson. Um, she might have just pushed that out just a hair and up the weight. Um, this uh, this will mean USA is chasing uh, from here on out. A look at Alexandra Saitova, second for Russia. The youngest member of this team. Russia, one of our three Olympic teams competing at the 2014 World Championships. It's a nice rock. It's been put in a really good position. Um, Russia recognizing that those rocks biting the eight foot might not be enough, um, so they put one in the four foot. So a little less ice on this shot. And Natalie Nicholson, second for the US team executes uh, on that second chance opportunity for the peel. Third, Margarita Fomina, 
We'll try and put that guard back. Maybe even just a hair tighter. So just cleaning that guard in. So Nicole Jornstad, third for the United States. Play the peel. Remember, USA down one has last rock advantage. So USA needs to score at minimum one point in order to force an extra end. Both these teams sit with two losses in the overall standings. So a little shift in tactics here by USA. Instead of uh, peeling the front, they're going to take advantage of what they feel is a little opening shot at getting to that rock on top of the forefoot. So USA in a, in a tough spot here with uh, two misses uh, in, the, in the middle of the order. Russia now uh, for sure thinking steal instead of force. Um, and what I mean by that is Russia's in a great position to score a point and take the win outright in 10, um, as opposed to force the United States to score a single point and have last rock advantage in an extra end. So skip Anna Sidorova. Let's see, 66% on her draws, but like you were saying, is lying three in a comfortable position. Yeah, a really good position here to steal. Um, USA is going to have to play a run back, a double takeout, a delicate in off. Uh, so the USA is utilizing its timeout here. So USA coach Derek Brown comes out. We can get two of them. Plus it opens up that hit and roll, yeah. Yeah. Yep. All right. I think it's right here. I'm going to hold back here, though. Yep. Normal up. Just normal up, eh? Yeah. 
Well, a pretty brief discussion there with uh, Derek Brown coming out. Yeah, there's not a lot of options on the uh, on the outturn side of the sheet. We saw both Natalie Nicholson and Nicole Jornstad miss shots over there. It runs pretty straight. Um, so. Team USA is elected to run that red rock in just above the 2014 Fusion logo. I mean, the yellow rock. Yep. Whoa, whoa, whoa. See her numbers yes, through yes. this game. Yes. More draws whoa, than hits and whoa, whoa. Yes. trying to whoa, give herself an whoa. out in this game and a little unlucky to touch that top one. Good though, Al. They just missed going right onto Shotstone and sticking it there. Yeah, just, just over curled a hair, maybe? Yeah, yeah, I think if they hold it just a hair and just over curled a hair. Watch this. It looks like it will just get by and just touches that red one. And the way they called it, looked like, it sounded like they were pretty happy where they were going to hit it. Yeah. It's just tough when you're, you're looking at those long angles. Um, you're talking about hitting a fraction of an inch. Very little margin for error. So Russia's turn to talk about it. They're, like you said, in a position to go to steal it and win the game right now. Yeah, Allison's looking at her options for scoring one. Um, she's looking at that draw to the button. Uh, Russia needs to figure out. Uh, she has a chance to play from this one and this one. Like this? Close here? Exactly there. Exactly there. Mm -hmm. Let's try. I think that's... Okay. That's 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 well, they're all on the same page. It's more just a confirmation just and that they weren't missing anything. Right. That there wasn't something that they were... Uh, something obvious they were missing. Uh, they said that uh, USA could play off of either of those red stones and roll to the button. Um, so, Skip Anasidorova and her Russian Federation team will try and draw a rock as tight into the forefoot as they can. Sweepers working this really hard to drag this rock in as far as they can. Yalkina, Saitova, did they leave the out? Had to have that one curl up more in order to take away that inside. Now, there's a shot to get rid of all four of those uh, rocks, um, actually. Uh, I don't know how much Allison Pottinger, uh, Skip from the United States, can see of the inside one. But... Uh, can she throw it hard enough? You would know, Anne, uh, to get all of them out and bring that Yellowstone you see in your picture into play. Yeah, I mean, I don't know that Allison will go for that, but uh, I, I mean, uh, it's uh, she needs to get one, and uh, one is definitely available to her. Um, I'm not sure why uh, the Russian skip was screaming to sweep. Uh, <laughs> you know, you needed to communicate weight. Um, with that much rotation she had on the rock, it was going to carry quite a quite a ways. Rather finish high and right have the right line than yeah. where they ended up. Okay, sounds good then. Yeah, it seemed like a little bit of a panic sweep call, just a little bit. But with that, Allison needs to execute this perfectly to take a score of one and force an extra end. So final stone here, the tenth end, crucial game. Russia, U.S. both with two losses. Yep. 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 Trying to get to the inside, maybe kick it and get rid of them, but on the wrong side of that one, it'll be two more for Russia. It'll go into the books. 
an 8-5 victory. The U.S. goes down. That's three straight losses for them. Nate are back on the ice tonight against Switzerland as Russia picks up the victory. <laughs> Hugs, high fives, and smiles from Team Russia uh, with their victory. Hugs around. The final game wraps up draw 10. And moving day sure is as we'll get you to it as we wrap up here this session, changing the playoff picture around as Russia to win day. They will have a couple of draws off and enjoy it as they still sit with two losses. Yeah, Team USA back on the ice uh, this evening against Switzerland in a almost a must-win situation at this point just to uh, make sure you don't drop to that four losses and need help to get into the playoffs. And to recap, our feature game between Latvia and China in the fourth end Great rock placement by Team China ensured a wide open takeout for Sejia Louis and Team China for a score of three. And we fall to the sixth end. China again engineered a wide open takeout with the last rock for a score of two. And after some nice rock placement in the seventh end, Latvia gets a chance for a deuce with a draw into the rings. And then at the end of the game, uh, that deuce was just not enough for Team Latvia. China takes the win, runs Latvia out of rocks, nine to five. And the finals again across our sheet, sheet A. Switzerland drops its first game. They drop it to Korea with a score of two to nine. Sweden wins 11 to four to cap off a two win day. Russia beats the United States eight to five with a steal of two in the 10th end. And there's our overall standings. Sweden sits atop at six and one. Canada and Switzerland just behind with one loss. Korea, Russia, China with one, two losses. United States drops to three and three. Scotland, four losses. Denmark, Germany, five losses. Latvia and Czech Republic at six losses. How do you guys feel about the victory today? I think great. Just a, a complete game. You, how do you feel about putting together a complete game? Uh, yeah, she feel better just, uh, with just a slow start, and uh, now it's better and better. Uh, was there any keys to the game just getting out to a good start? Uh, well, pardon me again? Was it important to get off to a good start in that game? Okay. Okay, uh, first thing is we just know that I said know the ice better and better and uh, the team play together is uh, and know each other better and better so when I didn't uh, then support each other so it's better yeah congratulations good luck well and that will wrap up draw 10 
here from the Ford World Women's Curling Championship. For Anne Swisshelm, the entire crew, and myself, Luke Coley, thanks for tuning in. We are back tomorrow morning for more coverage from St. John, New Brunswick, Canada.